Now we're going to start our discussion of quantum physics and we will be talking about uh, three important concepts, the black body radiation, the photoelectric effect and Compton effect. So first we start with black body radiation. Uh, this is something we're familiar with actually from uh, our discussion of thermodynamics where we talked about uh, the energy transfer mechanisms, one of the mechanisms was uh, through emission of electromagnetic waves. We know that all objects at any temperature emit electromagnetic waves, that's thermal radiation. Now, as the temperature increases, the color uh, of the object may change, for example, from infrared to red to white, this is an in the uh, direction of increasing uh, frequency infrared to red and you will see combination of uh, colors where we have the average frequency increasing. Uh, the accelerated charged particles in the atoms near the surface act as an antenna. So you know that electromagnetic waves are uh, generated due to accelerated charged particles and near the surface of the uh, object, the atoms will have uh, electrons that are uh, basically vibrating due to a finite temperature and these accelerated charged particles will act as an antenna producing the thermal radiation. Uh, so what is a black body? A black body absorbs all radiation incident on it. Uh, the radiation emitted by the black body is called black body radiation and it's a function of temperature. A good model of a black body is a cavity. Uh, so you can see that when electromagnetic radiation enters this cavity, uh, we have the radiation absorbed. And uh, for the emitted waves from this black body, we will have the wavelength distribution determined by the standing wave modes excited within the cavity. So we will have a standing wave modes inside the cavity. All right. Now uh, let's take a look at some properties of the black body radiation. The first one is something we're familiar with. The total power of the emitted radiation increases with temperature as t to the fourth power. This is known as Stefan's law, uh, Stefan's constant sigma, the surface area A, emissivity times t to the fourth power. Emissivity, remember, is the ratio of absorbed radiation to incident radiation. Because a black body absorbs all the radiation incident on it, emissivity is 1 for a black body, an ideal black body. Now, this Stefan constant sigma has a value 5.670 10 to minus 8 watts per meter square uh, Kelvin. Um, this is probably Kelvin. Uh, is watts per meter square Kelvin. Uh, area is the surface area, E is the emissivity, as I said it's equal to 1 for black body and T is our absolute temperature in Kelvin. Now uh, the second important property of black body radiation is that the peak of the wavelength distribution shifts to shorter wavelengths as temperature increases. So when we look at the intensity distribution as a function of wavelength, we have a peak uh, in the wavelength distribution and this peak shifts to uh, uh, basically smaller uh, wavelengths as the temperature increases. You can see 2000 Kelvin, the peak is around 1.5, 3000 Kelvin, it's uh, close to 1, 4000 Kelvin, it's close to uh, basically the red region. All right, so it's almost in the visible range. Now, uh, the fact that as the temperature increases, the maximum shifts to shorter wavelengths is not, uh, given by Wien's displacement law. Lambda max times temperature is a constant. 2.898 times 10 to minus 3 meters Kelvin. So as I said, 4000 Kelvin, this is uh, red. At actually 6000 Kelvin, it's in the center of the visible range, so that corresponds to uh, about white because you have all the colors contributing uh, to this uh, peak region. Okay, so to summarize, we talked about black body radiation, 
All objects emit electromagnetic waves due to finite temperature that is accelerated charged particles at the surface acting as an antenna producing this radiation and increasing temperature shifts the uh, wavelength distribution to uh, shorter wavelengths you can see here uh, higher frequencies a black body is a, a special object it absorbs all the radiation incident on it when it, uh, the radiation emitted by a black body on the other hand thermal radiation depends on standing wave modes inside the black body for example in this cavity this can, can be seen as a black body and there are two important properties of black body radiation the fact that the power emitted is proportional to t to the fourth power stefan's law uh, it's the proportionality constant is stefan's constant and it's also determined by surface area and emissivity of the object which is ratio of absorbed incident radiation which is one for a black body the stefan uh, Stefan's constant, Stefan Boltzmann constant is given here. Uh, the peak of the wavelength distribution shifts to shorter wavelengths as the temperature increases, reaching the center of the visible range at 6000 Kelvin. At 4000 Kelvin, it's entering the visible range. It's, it's about red. And lambda max times T is a constant. It's called Wien's displacement law because the maximum wavelength is being displaced. This constant is 2.98 10 to minus 3 meter Kelvin.